Hello there, welcome to the October 2020 paper. Here we're on paper one, question 14. A large spherical balloon is deflating. At time t seconds, the balloon has radius r and volume v. The volume of the balloon is modelled as decreasing at a constant rate. Use this model, uh, using this model, show that dr by dt equals minus k over r squared. So, okay, so a large spherical balloon. Now, what I know about spherical objects is that they're equal to pi r cubed. Now what might be helpful, so 4 pi r cubed over 3, 4 over 3 pi r cubed, yeah that's it. So the when we differentiate it, dr by dv by dr, we're going to get 4 pi r squared. Okay, so that might be potentially helpful. Now what we probably need to know now is some relation to do with dv by dt. So if it's decreasing at a constant rate and it's um, the balloon is deflating at, as is modelled as decreasing at a constant rate, then the rate at which the volume is changing with relation to t is equal to minus k. So these are our two derivatives that we're going to need to link together. And how are we going to link these together? Well, I want the dr on the top. So actually dr by dv... If I just rearrange the first one here, is equal to 1 over 4 pi r squared because I have um, I've just uh, I've just flipped this fraction upside down. So now it's going to be dr by dv times dv by dt, which will cancel out the dvs and leave the dr on the top and the dt on the bottom. Perfect. So that's going to be equal 1 over 4 pi r squared times minus k, which equals um, minus k over 4 pi r squared. Now, that's not what we've got as the answer here, but actually um, all of this stuff here is just going to be a constant term, k over 4 pi uh, that's just a constant term as well. So maybe what I'll do is I'll go back in my question, change this to a C, a constant, change that to a C, a constant, change that to a C, a constant, and then say from this part to this part that K is going to equal C over 4 pi. So therefore, I get minus K over R squared, where K is now the constant. So there we are, that's the answer to part A. Let's now move on to part B. Given that the initial radius of the balloon is 40 centimetres, and after 5 seconds the radius of the balloon is 20 centimetres, the volume of the balloon uh, continues to decrease at a constant rate until the balloon is empty. Solve the differential equation to find a complete equation linking R and T. Okay, so let's write it out then. dr by dt equals minus k over r squared. Now this is an integration where you have to separate the variables, so I'm going to multiply the r squared onto the other side and multiply the dt onto the other side. Now what we'll do to both sides is integrate both sides. So r squared is 1 over 3 r cubed equals minus kt plus c. Okay, so I know initially that the radius of the balloon is 40 centimetres. So that's when t equals 0, r equals 40. So 1 third of 40 cubed equals 0 plus c. So therefore, c equals, let's do it on the calculator, 40 cubed. 40 cubed divided by 3, that's 64,000 over 3. So therefore, the equation is um, r, so you know, one third r cubed equals minus three uh, k, so you no know, minus k t plus c. Now we also could probably do with working out what k is equal to after five seconds when t equals five. Uh, the radius of the balloon is 20, so r equals 20. So let's substitute it into this expression here. 1 over 3, 20 cubed, equals minus k times 5, 
so you're not plus C, I've already worked out what C is, Six, um, 64,000 over 3. So plus 64,000 over 3. Let's move this stuff around. So I'll move the 5k onto the left hand side. I'm now going to work out what um, 20 cubed divided by 3 is. And that's going to be 8,000. So 64,000 over 3 minus 8,000 over 3 equals 64,000 minus 8,000 equals 56,000 over 3. So therefore k is equal to divide 56,000 by 5. That gives us 11200 over 3. So therefore, the answer to part B is one third r cubed um, equals minus one one two zero zero over three. In fact, let's just cancel out all these thirds. Minus one one two zero zero t plus sixty four thousand. So there we are. That's the equation for r in terms of t. r cubed equals minus one one two zero zero t plus sixty four thousand. Uh, find a limitation on the value of t for which the equation in part b is valid. So what we don't want is for the radius to ever be a negative number. So what we'll just do is set the radius equal to be negative, uh, sorry, equal to zero, and we'll do one one two zero zero t equals sixty four thousand. So not 64, plus 64,000, but then if we do move it onto the other side, we get 64,000 equals minus 11200 uh, t. Sorry, no, we'll, we'll move the positive, move the negative onto the other side, so they're both positive. So therefore t, when it's equal to zero, is going to be 64,000 divided by answer. So that will give us 40 over 7. 40 over 7, so therefore um, the restriction on t, t has to be less than or equal to 40 over 7. Uh, and then when it does equal 40 over 7, um, uh, greater than 0 as well, then, um, then it will have a radius of 0. So there we are, that's the answer for question 14 there, that's now that's 10 marks, let's now move on to question 15.